Here are the three types of catalytic converter. So, let's dive into the video. Number 1. Two-way. This type of catalytic converter is widely used on diesel engines to reduce hydrocarbon and carbon monoxide emissions. They were also used on gasoline engines in American and Canadian market automobiles until 1981. Because of their inability to control oxides of nitrogen, they were superseded by three-way converters. Number 2. Three-way. Since 1981, three-way catalytic converters have been used in vehicle emission control systems in the United States and Canada. Many other countries have also adopted stringent vehicle emission regulations that in effect require three-way converters on gasoline-powered vehicles. The reduction and oxidation catalysts are typically contained in a common housing, however in some instances they may be housed separately. Three-way catalysts are effective when the engine is operated within a narrow band of air-fuel ratios near stoichiometry, such that the exhaust gas oscillates between rich and lean conditions. However, conversion efficiency falls very rapidly when the engine is operated outside of that band of air-fuel ratios. Under lean engine operation, there is excess oxygen and the reduction of NOx is not favored. Under rich conditions, the excess fuel consumes all of the available oxygen prior to the catalyst, thus only stored oxygen is available for the oxidation function. Closed-loop control systems are necessary because of the conflicting requirements for effective NOx reduction and HC oxidation. The control system must prevent the NOx reduction catalyst from becoming fully oxidized, yet replenish the oxygen storage material to maintain its function as an oxidation catalyst. Number 3. Diesel engines. Reduction in NOx emissions from compression ignition engines has previously been addressed by the addition of exhaust gas to incoming air charge, known as exhaust gas recirculation. In 2010, most light-duty diesel manufacturers in the US added catalytic systems to their vehicles to meet new federal emissions requirements. There are two techniques that have been developed for the catalytic reduction of NOx emissions under lean exhaust conditions, selective catalytic reduction and the lean NOx trap or NOx adsorber. Instead of precious metal containing NOx adsorbers, most manufacturers selected base metal SCR systems that use a reagent such as ammonia to reduce the NOx into nitrogen. Ammonia is supplied to the catalyst system by the injection of urea into the exhaust, which then undergoes thermal decomposition and hydrolysis into ammonia, 